Hey, it's Michael from Alaska. Praise the Lord. I just wanted, well, uh, first of all, I, I've, I've had some questions about what I thought about one of the videos that was talking about um, the false flag attack being today and, and some other things. And, um, you know, I, I just want to say this about, um, um, the vi you know, when, you know, people are, you know, um, I know, you know, I'm not here to determine who's who and what's what. I just say this is that, you remember Peter used to get ahead of God many times and the Lord's like, get behind me, Peter. Well, you know, he would, he's telling Peter, he's not doing well with God when you get ahead of him, you know, when you get ahead of God, you know, but, um, but, you know, well, he had told Peter, get behind me, Satan, because you have not the mind of the things of, uh, of God, but the things of men. And he wasn't, what he was saying was, he wasn't rebuking Peter, he's rebuking the fact that the enemy had Peter getting ahead of God. Um, and we, in our desire to go home, we can easily get ahead of God and what we're doing. Um, I know for myself, boy, I mean, I really thought that God could show us, would show us the month and year. You know, um, you know, there was a time I really, it really looked ripe right around uh, the, it, uh, what was it, the days of a uh, repentance time frame last year, um, right after Rosh Hashanah, in between that, that ten day window, and then there was um, in May there was all that stuff going on, and there was the um, link between Noah's day and all that stuff, and and May looked very ripe too, and like I said, no one can guarantee that, and I've never. No, I mean, no one can guarantee the month or year or nothing, but in our zealousness, sometimes or in our desire, you know, our flesh gets the best of us, and we we kind of hang on to something that's not truth, and that gets us in trouble, you know. Um, and you know, because I really thought that May was going to be very significant this year, and God is just showing us it's His show. You know what? It doesn't matter, you know, if our intentions are the best or if if you know um we have to realize that god is not trying to he's telling us judgment's coming but he's not going to say exactly when there was somebody that thought the volcano um in yellowstone was going to erupt somewhere between june and july and that has not happened in the beginning of july and and he's telling people get out of there get out of there i i, I give you my word on this as a christian that this thing is going to erupt well it didn't happen see the, the timing of God's judgment is up to him. And I don't believe he's showing us the timing of any of it. No one can predict when the earthquake's going to hit California and these other devastations are going to happen and everything else. We um, we just have to stay ready. We see because the earth is travailing like a woman in labor. We're getting closer and closer and closer. We need to stay ready. You know, um, we, we mean, we, we do look at certain things that are coming and go, wow, that could be a very significant time frame. Like I said, um, between uh, the end of August to early October is looks very significant it could turn out to be a quiet time and then everything go after October you know I mean God it's, it's up to God and what he allows to happen I like what one person said it's like a symphony God is synchronizing everything to a T and then when the balloon finally pops guess what the whole world will flip you know and and no one knows that exact moment that he's gonna flip the world um, you know, of even the month, you know, we don't know exactly which month. Some people believe Rosh Hashanah is going to be significant this year. You know, you know what? It's it's God's show. Any day, any moment, He can flip this world. I mean, it's up to Him. Um, but anyway, I wanted to. Um, so I just love everybody. And I pray. You know what? I I am not. You know, I I just. You know, I. I, I think 2012 is so very possible as the year we go home. I mean, it's very right, but no one can guarantee that. See, only God, the Father, can guarantee anything, you know, because it's His show, you know, and and you know, and then He's the one that gives Jesus the green light. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that for a minute. But um, you guys, I wanted to um, share something real quick. First, Tim. Well, actually, let me go here. Um, uh, Proverbs 1 7 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and fools despise wisdom and instruction now we know the New World Order doesn't fear God because they, they're despising wisdom and instruction and not listen you know they don't have no fear of God because they're trying to uh, bring in this New World Order garbage and but the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge you know fear of the Lord as we know as most of you know is reverence it's reverence it's understanding that God is the judge now, when you go to first or Second Timothy, uh, two two seven, 
or excuse me, one seven. Sorry, Second Timothy one seven. It says, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind." I remember a friend of mine, his son was only like three years old, I think, and he were in IHOP, and he was quoting his scripture. I mean, he little anointing fell on him. He's like, "For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind." And so, you know, um, a lot of the post-tribbers, they like to say, oh, you ain't tough enough you know, to make it through the tribulation. That's why you're a rapture believer and all that. You know what? Um, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, you know? And I like, you know, I just say this. If, if God decided he wanted his church, his bride, to go through the tribulation, that don't mean return back on Jesus. Look, I was like one guy said, is it post-trib? Pre-trib, you know, we're pre-tribbers. We believe in a, a coming a, in a rapture. But what what I'm saying is, he's like, he's like, look, I'm a pan tripper. It's all gonna pan out. And I kind of like that statement in this way of 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 saying this is that that God is taking care of His people. So so post tribbers just think all of a sudden because oh you know maybe God leads His church that way. Look, the power of the Holy Spirit is a you know He is awesome. You know, and so, and so you see one of these uh, uh, videos that shows the Bride of Christ leaving in, in this uh, Illuminati video thing and this uh, Anarchy commercial. Why? Because, you know, think about it. It says when the restrainer is removed, the Antichrist is revealed. The Holy Spirit is, is, is God Almighty. And, you know, it's the power of the church is a thorn in the New World Order's side. And that's one big reason. I, I believe John 14, 3 will be fulfilled. Is because he goes to prepare a place for us. He comes again and receives us unto himself. That where he is, we may be also. Remember, he went to prepare a place for us. Now, if he's coming to earth at the end of the tribulation, then why did he go prepare a place for us? You know, and, and having to be with him. He's preparing a place, where I believe, is for his bride. But what I'm saying is, is we don't have to have a spirit of fear. <clears throat> the fear of the Lord is reverence that God is your judge. A spirit of fear is tormenting fear from the devil that says, God will leave you and he'll forsake you and he won't be there for you. Even the ones that God had called to martyrdom, Paul and Stephen and those, he never left them. He never forsook them. You remember the one where Stephen was stoned? And I'm not saying we're called to be martyrs. What I'm saying is Jesus was standing because, you know, his Holy Spirit was guarding over Stephen even in, as he di had died for Jesus. But what I'm trying to say is, we have the Lord. We, he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and sound mind. And we just stand on God's promises. He said, be counted worthy to escape all these things. So, you know, pray to be counted worthy, that act of humility of being before the Lord. But what I'm just saying is we don't, I don't, no matter how volatile this world is until the Lord calls us home, we can rest in Christ. Psalm 91, he's our deliverer. I just, that one scripture delivers us out of all our troubles. You know, and it's just awesome because God doesn't forsake his word. And if we're crying out to God with the authority of his word, he has to answer, answer his word. His word is above his name, the Bible says. So anyway, I just felt like sharing this because you know what? The devil is a loser and the devil knows he wants the Holy Spirit to leave the earth. He must, you know, the restrainer to be removed because then darkness can overtake the earth. But with the Holy Spirit suppress, you know, the Holy Spirit, um, I don't say suppressing the darkness, yeah, keeping the darkness at bay if, as, as much as it wants to overtake, then, then the New World Order can't do everything it wants to do. So anyway, um, I just had to share that real quick. I, I'm telling you, we have an awesome God. His word is yea and amen, and God is an awesome God. And I'm telling you, God takes care of his people. Even these days, I know a woman that was a Christian woman. She was getting beat by her husband. And he wasn't saved. She kept praying for him. But one day she came home and he was dead on the floor. You know, another woman, husband's mocking God. She said, I bind that uh, doubting spirit in the name of Jesus. Because he was just mocking God. You're God in real. All of a sudden he couldn't move. He was pinned to the ground by the power of God. The power of God is just as real now as it was back in the days when Elijah called fire down from heaven. So it's all going to pan out for the real Christian that God said in his word, be kind of worthy, escape all these things. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. We just need to keep loving Jesus and know that he said he would never leave us, never say because he's with us. His Holy Spirit's with us. We need to encourage one another, build one another up. And guess what? I wasn't planning this, but it's 222 right now in Alaska as I'm doing this video. Revelation 22, 20. Behold, I come quickly like lightning. <clears throat> Jesus said, I'm coming like a thief. He said he's coming like a thief. You know, and so boom, everything, everything, everything is okay. All of a sudden, 
You can't come like a thief on the world's falling apart. I mean, you know, you got the New World Order and all that. But anyway, I love you guys. But we can know that it all works out good for those who are in Christ to have His Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is our strength and our refuge in this time we're living in. You know, dwell in the secret place of the Most High. You know what? My God will never leave me, never forsake me. No matter what kind of craziness is going on in the world till I get home, Jesus is taking care of us. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Keep looking up. Stay ready. Love you all. I um, just want to share an encouraging word. Love you all. Let's just keep an edifying encouraging one another. Love one another. You know, you know, our King is coming soon. And this is just you see all this craziness is just more evidence of how close we are to going home to be with our Savior. Love you.